Hey guys, so before I start anything, I just want to announce that I'm putting together a little showcase on my channel of smaller horror creators here on YouTube. If you want the details, then head over to my Facebook or Twitter and check out the pinned posts. Anyway, so today's video may be a little bit weird, as I said on social media. Maybe more than just a little bit weird, but that's beside the point. Over the last two to three years, YouTube has seen a huge boom in channels that usually center on unboxing, specifically unboxing of children's toys or other kid-focused merchandise or candy. Now, of course, the standard toy videos usually focus completely on the items themselves and showcasing them, but some channels take it a step further, or several depending on your standard. <laughs> My sister and pretty cutie. Smell my fine gear. Smell my fine gear. Cut all your ties, eyeball. Cut all your ties, eyeball. I wonder if Pete Rat has a brain. I wonder if Pete Rat has a brain. Let's find all your Cut him open. <laughs> You may have already heard of these two channels in particular from H3H3 production. From H3H3 from H3H3 production. You may have heard these two channels in particular from Ethan and Ela reaction videos covering them. But needless to say, they aren't the only ones who are completely confused by this new fad. Before we go any further, I know that some of you are going to go in the comments and complain about how this isn't horror or this topic doesn't fit the channel. But remember, this series also focuses on online anomalies, as you can see from the title, and these videos are definitely bizarre to say the very least. I'm not saying that these videos are necessarily dangerous or that they shouldn't exist, but the fact that they're seemingly aimed at children should help demonstrate the fact that you should be monitoring your kids' online activity, especially since these channels are able to bypass YouTube's restricted mode and things like it. And if you're a parent who hasn't already figured this out, then, well, I don't want to call you stupid, but welcome to the internet. Now, based off the stuff I just showed you, you may be thinking that it's not all that bad, but oh boy, does it get better. There's a ton of kids themed channels with a dark twist, and it isn't just limited to toys. There are even live action channels with grown ass adults dressed up as Spider-Man and Elsa doing some rather questionable things at times. And I think we've all seen these at some point by now, so they're probably old news. Rising above all these strange channels is YouTube's newest juggernaut. Something bigger than fidget spinners, Minecraft channels, and even the dreaded red hot knife trend of yesterday. Yes, I am of course talking about you know, actually, I'm not entirely sure if there's even a name for them, but what I'm talking about are those weird animation parody channels that usually follow some sort of messed up storyline. You've seen them before, I'm sure. They sort of resemble those cheap online Disney ripoff games, only they're full-on animated shorts on YouTube. I just spent a couple hours sifting through them, and holy shit, are they weird. Five minutes in, and I already found videos on numerous different channels with themes surrounding abduction, infidelity, sexual harassment and assault, pregnancy, death, and fecal matter. And one episode in particular showed a character being chloroformed, and another one, I was going to explain it, I had it written down, but I'll just show you instead. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? And yes, that video has over 25 million views. Did you hear what I just said? And not only that, it was posted in April, which is not that long ago. And of course, numbers like these are not at all uncommon amongst these channels. As I said, they're definitely YouTube's newest juggernaut in terms of views. It's honestly pretty impressive. 
these channels somehow manage to upload on a near daily basis, and that's not easy considering the medium in which they operate. Animation is not something easy to just pump out, even on a basic level. What's even more bizarre here is that a lot of these channels are on fairly old accounts that predate the whole explosion of the genre, yet many of them seem to have only began posting a few months ago, or for some reason choose to remove videos as they begin to age. Why? Honestly, I have no clue, and I'm normally the person you go to for answers. On top of all this, if you go to these channels' homepages, then you'll notice that a lot of them have each other on their featured channels section. I mean, do they all know each other? Are they working together somehow? Is there some kind of weird cartoon fetish convention that the rest of us just don't know about? Or perhaps a sweatshop that allows them to post such frequent content? I can only hope that my fanbase knows me well enough to know when I'm not serious. Anyway, of course, everyone's wondering why. Why do these channels exist and exactly why are they so crude? Why is everyone's favorite question. It is time to take off your tinfoil hats because no, this isn't necessarily some sick fetish porn put out there by creeps in their mother's basement hoping to brainwash children. Now, I can't exactly tell you who they are, but the why here is pretty obvious. It makes a f ton of cash. And yes, Yes, I know, that's everyone's explanation to everything, including why people think I came back to YouTube, but hear me out this time. Kids are naturally curious. I don't think I need to cite any sources when I say that. Kids also love things like Disney, Elsa, Spider-Man, and other things they've seen on TV or on the big screen. Now, kids will also pretty much click on anything, including what we adults call clickbait, even though we totally fall for it ourselves anyway. That's one half of this equation the target audience being young and shocking material to keep them coming back and as active as possible. So what's the other half of this equation, you ask? Well, you guessed it. It's YouTube and their broken-ass system that has no idea what context is. The thing is, these channels are specifically designed to exploit YouTube's flaws. They take seemingly advertiser-friendly content and push out as much of it as possible while knowing fully that their target demographic isn't smart enough to figure out what they're doing. And yes, this includes parents as well. These channels seem completely innocent on the surface, even claiming to be educational in nature in some cases, with no mention of being either parody or satire. Ignorant parents who don't actually watch the videos and what goes on in them leave their kids clicking away haphazardly, allowing these channels to rake in views and AdSense dollars, all while being able to bypass demonetization and even YouTube's restrictions. Here she goes again, ranting and raving about YouTube demonetization. Ooh. Nobody gives a shit. Fuck, where's the toilet paper? LJ, where's the toilet paper? They've gone all out. Watch some for yourself and take note of how each video is drawn out and often only a little over 10 minutes long in order to make the most money possible. Oh and yes, this is also why certain curse words have been bleeped out. These channels are allowed to run amok while YouTube has me by the testicles. That was, of course, a joke. But knowing how things here on the lovely internet work, you people will turn Is Rainbot a Man into my top Google search result next to Rainbot Face, which shouldn't even be something you need to dig for. It's right on my Instagram. Anyway, fuck censorship. We're getting away from the point here. So yes, these channels are incredibly crude and in some cases mildly disturbing and definitely not suitable for children. But at the same time, they aren't necessarily going to turn your kids into hardened criminals. Now, of course, it's completely understandable that some parents may be upset at all this. Or not, I honestly have no clue, I don't have kids thanks to birth control. But it just goes to show that, as I said earlier, you really should be aware of what your kids are doing online. That should pretty much seem like common sense, even though it ain't so common no more. Now, on the other end of things, we know that these channels play along with a gray area that allows them to survive on YouTube, like I said earlier. But given all the changes to the system, it's probably just a matter of time until they get shut down as well. Of course, either way, this means that channels like mine are still screwed. So donate to my Patreon if- Patreon? Fucking sell out, bitch. Make your own fucking money. Anyway, guys, all joking aside, I know this was sort of a strange and different video for me, but- don't worry, it's not going to be the norm. The next set of videos are all going to be how they normally are. Um, I just felt like doing something slightly different today just for the hell of it. Of course, I do want to take a moment to thank every single one of my patrons for helping me do what I love doing the most. 
Now with all that being said, I'll see you all soon with a normal video, at least to my standards.